thank you so much that you are again available. Uh, no, 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 don't say that. It's, yeah, to thank the family also, like, they allow yeah. us to come. He is a 63 years old gentleman diagnosed with mesothelioma. The mesothelioma is actually cancer that grows at the lining of the lung. His condition is more or less stable. Is he able to talk? Pain is controlled. So we just like prepare ourselves, mm. breathe, and know that once we go out, we are going to be very focused on this person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Application due 8am tomorrow morning. I've just finished an 8-hour shift and I'm going to meet a brave little girl to make her wish come true. There, the leaf is just there. Uh, for this, not yet. Is it that one? Yes, that's the one. Hello! Who is that? Hi, hey. Amina. Hello. We have a surprise for you. Do you know you. what this para is here for? No. You don't want to know? Yes. We're going to invite you to a very nice party. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and then what do you need for parties? Cake. Mm -hmm. And do you want a special baju? Then I need your measurements. Yay! Yay. Stand straight, hands on your side. Make a Wish is a non profit organization that grants wishes for children with critical illnesses between 3 to 18 years old. It's like a genie kind of role that we um, take on assignments and then uh, we put the plans together, try and coordinate and make a wish come true. Where's your belly button? Here, 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 here. <laughs> You saw the glitch, are you? Yes, she did. I tried. No! Elvina's wish is to be a ballerina. We are going to um, enroll her in ballet classes. Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> Fifty-six. I applied to be a pediatric nurse and I was placed in pediatric oncology. I found that it's really a blessing in disguise. You can do higher. Ah, yes, you see? <laughs> Good job. I can connect emotionally really quickly and really well. I think that's what the oncology patients need. Elvina is a patient of mine. This year, she is seven years old. She's a girl with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL. I've been taking care of her two or three years ago. He takes over his mother's store for I think, 20 years, selling wonton mee. And apparently his wonton mee is quite famous. Mr. Lee? <笑> 早上好,我是Amy,我們今天早上會跟你清洗一下。Mr.Lee,我們現在幫你洗頭。Vision <笑> Angel is a service that was provided to the patient, usually it's end of life patient, um, to make them feel comfortable with massaging and even to clean them up. Some patients have not been cleaned up for a long time. 
Some families might not have the strength or energy to because it's already end of life and they're so afraid that if they touch the body or flip the body, the patient might feel painful. So I think it's necessary for us to be there. I'm a graphic designer. I'm working for Wildlife Reserve Singapore. We do a lot of educational programs. As a designer, I actually help to put up programs materials and also the signages in the zoo. Ah, can you? It's a very interesting place. Ah. It's a place where I think it's my second home. I love the people there, I love animals, and I love nature. Oh no, I want to be a volunteer. Yeah, I have this, I have this wish that I can, I can work and uh, use my extra time to do something meaningful. During COVID-19, everyone was looking for a mask. I happened to come across this group called Sew the Mask with Love, and I learned from YouTube. I just sold about 200 masks and mailed it out. They went to the dormitory for the foreign worker. So we received SMS from uh, HCA um, through WhatsApp. Usually the message will come at around 2 p.m. or even sometimes 5 p.m. for the next day case. If there's no volunteer, then I will quickly apply leave and attend to the case the next day. We encourage our staff to take up volunteer work and we also give our staff official leave to do volunteering work. My shift work actually allows me to be a little bit more flexible and take out some time doing Make-A-Wish volunteer stuff. Very pretty, eh, boy. It's like Ping and Ballerina. She confirmed love you. Usually, a wish can take a few days up to a few weeks or a few months. I would dedicate a day a week to work on the wish that I'm holding on to. So I try and settle the arrangements of my off day itself. What time is she coming in? Right. She'll meet us there at 1.30. 1.30. Yeah, so yeah. half an hour to prep. Right? Yeah, I think, okay, to okay. like wear the costume. Yeah, we present this to her before the class, right? Diamond and Fred. I'm waiting for Elvina to be here. It will be her first ballet class today. But she doesn't know about it actually. Elvina! Elvina! Avina, <laughs> oh, oh. guess what? Today is a surprise day. What do you think is going to happen? She was still clueless until the, the very um, front door of the ballet class. Everybody loves to be clean. So Vijay Angel came in to fill in this gap and help the family and also the patient. Like normally we'll ask the family member to give me a set of clothes. So we will change the bed sheets, we will change the diaper. This service is actually provided to the patients free of charge. At first, I was, I was a bit nervous. Yeah, I don't know what kind of strength should I use on the patient. I've done cases that halfway, patients pass on. I saw a wife 
kissing goodbye to the husband, son to thank the father for bringing them up. I also saw even the dog is involved during the last moment of the patient. So these are very beautiful memories that I have. And I think um, death can be beautiful. I find that Fong is a natural. You know, you don't have to tell her uh, what to do. What we really hope is to leave behind a very uh, good memory uh, for those who are being left behind by this one who is passing on. And I think Fong is able to do that. Thank you, Cecilia. Amy is my mentor. She's one nurse that I admire. Most of the time, after the session, um, she will check out with us how do we feel. I was holding on to his hands, his body is pretty warm. I sponge him um, with the right water temperature. And at the end of the day, actually bring down the fever a lot, a lot. And then did you notice that he was trying to show us that, you know, a thumb up, yes. that he enjoyed the session? Yes, we did, right? Yeah, he did. And then uh, he gave me a big smile. Uh, it's very comforting when you see a patient respond in this way mm. and you know you're doing the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. The tears is, uh, I can't hold it. Yeah. I, I try not to tear in front of the family member yeah. and the patient. You hardly did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For all our angels, right? I hold the responsibility to ensure that you know uh, my angels do not bring unhealthy emotions back home, lah. Because then it will not be good for the family if she gets so depressed. Each time when I see you after a session, you are either close to tears, <laughs> or you would actually allow that that tears one or two to to flow out. I don't see them as like weakness. Mm. And I actually see those tears as energy, as love, as strength. For you, okay. are you excited to dance? Yes. All right, let's go. Like haiku. Alvina is actually um, on the road to recovery. Hopefully, if all goes well, she will be enrolling in primary one next year. It will be her first time in a few years to go to a normal school. I had some patients who went for their wish and they came back into the ward all rejuvenated, all happy and then the world looks like a really very pretty place to them. Suddenly all their worries went away and they believed that really dreams do come true. As of now, the first class went really well. Yeah, I was actually like tearing outside with Ariel just now. So cute. Today is definitely a good day for me. I think it's a dream come true also for me to see Alvina's dream come true. Oh. 
他回来跟我讲，就眼泪流，他讲去看到那个人就走了，讲没有办法了，人生一定要走的，看几时。嗯，看他怎样咯。所以你们认为说阿峰跟着我们这样去护理这些临终的病人啊,啊你们没不会觉得帮当啊？不会不会不会不会不会,不会,不会,不会,不会、啊、很开心、啊、很开心啊！帮到人家我已经很开心了。嗯、对，他他你看他他眼泪也在流，<笑>我很激动。<笑>想到什么呢？嗯。他想我两个老了走，不懂怎么办。我讲没有办法吗？我最担心的也是有一天，我的父母会会离开我。尤其是当我去做这件事情之后，我对我的父母的心也是变得更柔软。嗯，也是觉得说，嗯，我们其实每天回来就是以为爸爸妈妈还在。嗯，然后就觉得说。我们还有很多时间。其实我每去一场这个 assignment， 这个这个。I love my parents a lot, a lot. I I very scared they will leave me one day. After the person die, where do they go? Yeah, I just uh, got news that one of my patients passed on. Yeah, and I just saw her yesterday, like, she was still talking to me and stuff like that. <sighs> I'm so sorry. It's all right, it's okay. I was still talking to her and, like, cleaning her up and all. She was so well. Okay, yeah, but... No, I got news when I was filming halfway that one of my patients passed on. I was just talking to her yesterday and she was still mobile walking around. So sometimes when there are challenges, I will share it with my boyfriend because he's not in the medical field. What he can do is just to listen and sometimes that's actually what you just need, a listening ear. After patients are discharged, I have a relationship with them out of work. Sometimes we do meet up and sometimes through Zoom call. Asma, what are you eating? Oh, look, Asma is eating high tea. Actually, when a kid is being diagnosed with cancer, the family is sometimes lah, um, isolated from everyone else because they get so caught up with their own problems here with the child that they just don't have the time to continue their connection with the friends outside. We are going to... Where is she? So today is after five lessons, we will get to see her progress. Hopefully, we get to see her dancing together in sync with her classmates. You want to go and change already? I can show you another one. Okay, show. One, two, three, show. Wow. Oh my goodness, you can do a split already? Wow. Papa felt very sick. He is um, diagnosed with kidney cancer. This news came in really shocked me. And such a short period of time, I don't know how much time we are left. I didn't expect to have to handle this with what I've learned. So, mommy will have a long time to stay in Gong Gong's house because this is the only time I have to be with her. Of course, she needs to be with her. 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 She needs to
，then 你们就很乖咯，自己会 take care 自己。像妈咪讲，你是姐姐，那你要照顾弟弟咯。我知道啊，要要互相照顾，知道吗？嗯，亲情是很重要的，重要过任何的一个东西。有时候老人家要坐下来跟他们聊天，知道他们在想什么。I'm very proud of everything that she's achieved. Um, she's a very good role model. We really usually don't share our feelings as openly. So this interview gives me an opportunity to really share my honest thoughts and opinions about my mother and how it impacts me as an individual, what I can do to give back to society just like how she does. She's doing really, really good since the first lesson. She kept on practicing. I'm quite impressed that she's actually catching up with a lot of her classmates. She's very determined. She kept on asking, "Is this correct?" She's more confident. I'm happy that she finally has something to hold on to. This is like she really looks forward. So you you know you did so well with the bar thing. You improved so much, right? Wow. Hey, that's really very high. Eh? Last time I was until where? I don't. Maybe here. I mean, it it sounds very like cliche and cringy, but dreams do come true. Doing what you love is actually really one of the best medicine that you can have. It makes one happy, and when you are a happy person, it makes you more optimistic. You are able to find the silver lining in the hardest time ever. Avina, come. You think you did well today? One to ten. How do you think you dance today? I give myself one hundred out of one hundred. Okay. Very good. Self confident. Three. 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 Three.